Hey guys, it's PunkX2000 again, and I'm back with some more South Park Stick of Truth. Now, when we last left off, we had taken on Stan's sister, aka the She Ogre, and retrieved his iPhone. Now we're friends. However, if, as you can tell, this is not Stan's house, this is Kyle's house. I did a few side quests because I, I know that a lot of people would like to see the side quests and what they are and how you complete them, but quite frankly, it's just a lot of running around. So I figured I'd save you guys the trouble of having to sit and go through all those videos and just do it myself, so you're welcome. Alright. Uh, you better be. Um, oh, excuse me. So my week's been great, you know, in its own little fucking way. Um, I have to go to the... What the fuck was my quest again? I forgot. Uh, goth kids. Goth kids, okay. Uh, won't join you unless you get a photo. Uh, I must not have done that. Oh, yeah, yeah, I... Okay, fuck. Because, see, I tried doing this once, and then some other shit happened, and it didn't quite go the way I wanted it to, so I have to, uh... I have to go do other stuff now. Um... Stan, you're cool and all, but I want Jimmy. Because Jimmy just be that badass. He's Jimmy's like that undercover badass that you know is a badass, but secretly, you know, he just he doesn't want anyone knowing he's a badass. You know that whole tidbit. If you can't tell, I had no fucking idea what I was talking about there. All right. So, yeah. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with this game. Yeah, I haven't... You guys got more? Yeah, we just stole a fresh pack. Get lost, kid. We're trying to smoke. Okay, so there's actually no stunning them. You actually have to fight them. Oh, this is that bullshit. Your pain will be easy to my All right, so ooh, what's this? Hold X until you lose control, then let go. Oh, that's that's pretty cool, you know. All things considered, Jimmy. That's why he's a badass. <laughs> Fucking love Jimmy. All right, let's uh, let's do this. Project Diva skills go. Yeah. Alright, so they won't wake up until I hit them. So, in that case, we're gonna go after like this guy. Ah, ah. Alright, Jimmy, power us back up. We're gonna do this shit some more. Yeah! Alright, song of buffness. Good job. Yeah! I had a nice man that she said that she said of the maiden from Stoneberry who is also your mom. Badass song. <laughs> He's like, you talk about my mama. Okay, I, I, that was my bad. I blocked. <laughs> <laughs> I love the effect of when you just kill them off like that. Alright, Jimmy, just finish him. <laughs> God, I love Jimmy. Alright, so now we've got to go back to the... Um, are they still broken? Yeah, they are. We've got to go back. Ooh. Before we do that. Chipotle, go, man! 
Now we've got to go back to the school. I think I'm going the like, wrong fucking way. Uh, you guys had to keep him. What the fuck was that? You guys had to keep in mind I haven't played this game in over, you know, a few weeks. I've kind of been taking a hiatus from it. I was uh, working with Forsaken Angel on Army of Two at the at the time. Uh, as of today, actually, he has left to go do other things, so I won't be seeing the guy for another six months, sadly. So, for the time being, it's just going to be me, you know, doing my thing. Holding down the fort. Um, in the future, I want to actually get together with Mike Action and Ichikoga and possibly what he used to be known as, Nero. And doing a uh, co-op run of Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker, which who knows? We'll see. Oh joy, it's Butthole the Barbarian from the Dungeons of Dumbass. You gotta admit, he looks better. Yeah, he's almost a god. Being goth isn't just how you dress; it's a frame of mind. It's time for you to prove that you go against society's rules. Yeah. There's a big PTA meeting happening right now at the community center. You need to walk right into the middle of that meeting and take this sign to their table. Yeah, that will prove your individuality. Go on, beat it, and don't come back until you have a picture of that sign taped to the PTA table. All right, so we move on. Now, guys, I will warn you: the next part that we do will probably be the most rage-inducing part of this entire playthrough for me, simply because it is my least favorite thing to do in this game. Good looking at you, Sex. You're a braver man than us. Oh, you, okay, yeah, that's right. You don't go in. It isn't right, I tell you. Out of nowhere, this huge Taco Bell is being built, and now our children are missing precious school time. Parents, we've been assured by the builders that they are working to fix whatever problems they've encountered, and school should be able to resume soon. Resume soon? Who do they think they are? They think we're going to see a, a Taco Bell as being more important than our kids' educations? What if it's not really a Taco Bell we're dealing with? Thanks for coming, new kid. Everyone, this is the kid whose family just moved to town. We've become very close friends. His name is... What's your name? Well, anyway, this child and I witnessed something last night, and I'd like you to hear his story. Go ahead, kid. Tell them, you know, about all the... Go ahead, tell them, tell them that story. This is a waste of everyone's time. If the PTA isn't going to do something about Taco Bell taking over, then the rest of us parents will! Come, Come on! on. Let's go. Come on! Alright, so now all I gotta do is just go up to that table, put this sign on it, and we're good. But first, I wanna talk to Mr. Garrison. Fuck the conformists. Why, are they a good lay? <laughs> that fucking response. Okay, uh, let's talk to you. This is a PTA meeting, young man. Be on your way. This is a PTA meeting, young man. Yeah, Be on you're your way. boring. Shut up. Why don't you exercise your free speech at home, little boy? <laughs> don't be screwing around in here. Don't be screwing around. And that that fucking guy. I so I don't blame you for not wanting to talk about it, but people need to know what's going on. Yeah. I'm just gonna do this and be on my way. Look, I know how you're feeling, okay? But this isn't gonna solve anything. We've got to get inside that Taco Bell and find out what's really going on. Help me with that and I'll help you with this. I saw you on the ship. You have pretty good control over your farts. Meet me in the bathroom. It's time for you to learn some real power. 
Yeah, that's something you, as a as a as like a nine year old kid, you'd never want to hear an adult tell you. Meet me in the bathroom. I'll teach you some real power. <laughs> I made a pedophilia joke. <laughs> God, I hate this part. I can tell you have potential, but you are undisciplined. Let me show you what I mean. Come at me. Try and fart on me. Come on. All right. Oh, awesome. Hi, Ta. See that? Your fart's over there somewhere. Didn't come close. So, what do you do when people can block your farts? You must learn to control your farts to move and release at a specific time and place. I'm going to teach you a fart called the Sneaky Squeaker. It will become your greatest ally. Don't believe me? Try and block my attack. You see that? I distracted you. Distracting your opponents is key to... Look, let me show you again. Pay special attention to the viscosity. Okay, you try it. Make your fart detonate behind me. Go oh, ahead, guys. Oh, Mr. Mackey. Now it's your turn. You sneaky squeaker to distract Mr. Mackey over the corner there. Hey, did you guys hear that? Sounded like a chipmunk. <laughs> very, very good. Now use what I taught you to sneak inside that Taco Bell. Find out what they're up to and report back here. And no matter what happens, never fart on anyone's balls. Got that? Alright, now go. Alright, that, that actually went a lot better than I expected. What used to happen is I would do that, and he would sit there and go, Kia, you call that farting? Like a million fucking times. But I, I, I got lucky that time, so we move on quickly without rage. Thank God. Even though I'm sure a lot of you would have probably enjoyed seeing the rage, because, you know, rage is just funny. Come on, Jimmy. We're going to go fuck bitches. Like, not really, because we're nine, but that would be cool. That that would be really cool, you know? Alright, so... To the new Taco Bell. Away! Wait a minute. There's something I for almost forgot to do. Ha ha ha! Huzzah! Well, looks like you caught Santa checking the police database to see who's been naughty. You wouldn't tell on Santa, would you? Nah, man, you Santa. I wouldn't tell on you. Just bring me that fucking bike I want, man. And we'll, we, I won't say shit. The best way to get to Canada is north. Okay, yeah, I, did. I couldn't tell. Colorblind people, sorry. I'm going the wrong way. Oh well. Yeah, I'm supposed to be up here. So yeah, let's uh let's go up here and do that. Alright, so it's all the way this way. And here we go. Folks, there's nothing to be concerned with here. Absolutely nothing out of the ordinary is going on. We're simply getting ready for the grand opening of a new Taco Bell. New Taco Bell opening soon. Very big Taco Bell. It's going to open in a few weeks. Thank you. Uh, will this Taco Bell be serving in Chiritos? What? Well, is it going to be a full menu Taco Bell, or is this going to be one of those Taco Bell KFC combos? 
We have one of those. You're asking a lot of questions. Just stick to the script as laid out in the protocol. But he wants to know if the Taco Bell will have Inchiritos or not, sir. Damn it, we don't have a contingency for that. Michaels, isolate and neutralize the threat. Yes, sir. Look, it's a simple question. If this is going to be a huge Taco Bell, will it serve Inchiritos? I think we have a right to know. Mark? Folks, we know you're all very excited, but for your safety, we ask you stay clear of the construction site. Mark? Alright! That seems like a good point to just leave this. Um, when we come back next time, we'll sneak into this finger quote Taco Bell. And, yeah. So until next time, guys, I will see you later.